fire, I could conquer the night If I can make it, if I try to drive the red light I could run through the fire, I could conquer the night If I can make it, if I try to drive the red light getting the real it's getting the real how's it going everybody oh exciting days exciting days how is everyone doing that's what i want to know chase b's in the house the hunter llama 64 king tris uh easy fishing with asa ethan gr reese handy draggy uh dev boss copeland hey there's a name we haven't seen in a while bumble woot Chase V, Kilo Knight. Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, if you might have saw, you might have saw, we're uh, we're heading back to Marone River, big one, the big one. Now going after some monster-sized catfish. Before we were catching these darn cats on uh, on let's see ten odd hooks, I guess. We're catching on 10 knot hooks. We were using uh, this huge cut bait. We were using uh, chicken liver. And the other one is the freshwater prawns we were catching them on. So today, I thought we'd go back to doing that. But one thing I am trying out, just something new to see if we catch something bigger. I am gonna throw a, a 12 knot cap and hook on here. Might not work. Just thought, might as well give it a try, you know? Who knows, might get a big one. Oh, goodness gracious. We're going to try it anyway. Can you catch carp at Chalana with boys? I can't catch them with them. Uh, I don't know. I uh, really don't know. I uh, I went there and caught some with uh, honey bread or something like that. Uh, that map is just horrid. I, ha I, I really don't like it very much at all. I think we should be good. I checked over everything. Hopefully, we're, we're golden. We're also going to be going over um, Payara. We're gonna go back to trying to catch Payara. A little birdie told me where I might be able to find him, so I'm kind of excited about that. And um, yeah, and then we'll just kind of see what we can catch. Other than that, so let's go. Uh, let's go catch some fish, shall we? First off, let's go to the old uh, the old constant where we always go to catch some big cats. Catch some big cats first, and then we'll then we'll venture out and do some other things somewhere in your house. A four-inch locust. 
That's a good size locust, man. Oh, did I put... I did go into a private room. I'm used to making videos out here. We'll do a friends only list. That way, if you're, uh... If you're a friend, if you're not a friend, uh, send me a friend request or tell me if you have. If anything, I'll go in and delete some friends so that we can make sure you friend up. But we have to be on PC, mind you. Big thing. I have grown in subs. Have I, Llama? Well, that's great. I'd like to hear that. You know how I had to come and hit a freestyle. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I agree. Well, we've been missing your freestyles, you know. I'm sure you haven't been missing mine, uh, you know. Uh, uh, I'm just so busy out here casting a line, you know. You know what I'm saying? You, you hear what I'm throwing down like a clown, Charlie Brown? So, uh, yeah, regular old Dr. Seuss. Here we go. Yep. Crash into the store shore here. Okay, here's our magic spot here. I guess we'll we'll throw up the map here. That way, if you're uh, watching this, looking for a spot, here we go. We're right on the left side here in this deeper water. We're literally casting right in the middle of it. That's uh, that was pretty much how I did. <laughs> I was like, well, let's just go right in the middle, I guess. We get our rod holders out here. We're gonna toss them out. Toss them out. Man, miss me, Football God 10. I, I tell you what, I miss everyone the same amount. You know, I miss them like uh, a cowboy misses his horse when they're gone. So, uh, not to say that you're all horses. That came out wrong. I'm just saying, you're dear, you're horse to me. You're dear to me, you're horse to me. We're getting beeps on the 14 odd already, or the 12 odd, I guess. Devin Willis with the sub. Thank you so much, Devin. But oh, we just threw that one rod out and we already had a hit on it. And that was the 12 odd. It's probably a small, like, little ripsaw catfish or something like that. Got, now we're getting a little bit of both on there. Sounds like uh, my rods when it's a windy day out. And of course, gotta throw out a match rod because. Because, of course you do. Let's throw freshwater prawns on this dude. I'm gonna actually make the leader really long, too. Go 10 feet there. Freshwater prawns. Should we put a 10 knot hook on here? Let's do it. Actually, let's do let's do a, a smaller hook. Maybe we'll catch um, something else. Maybe we'll catch a ripsaw or, you know, uh, a unique ripsaw or something like that. We'll just see. You're no longer broke. That's good to see. That's good to see. Man, the Congo is good. I bought the Wild Africa Pack, and in two days, in real life, probably five to six hours, so I've gone from level 44 to 49. My biggest now is 175 kgs. Well, fantastic, sad goose. So that's good to hear. Your real life PB Northern Pike today. Ooh, ooh, I like the sound of that. Didn't even know there were pike in that. <laughs> wow, you, you got a pike in a pond too. Wowie, zowie. I've really missed the vids, you know, that ain't a lie. When it comes to fishing planet, Bo is your guy. I say it every time and I refuse to stutter. Rhymes so smooth, I can't believe it's not butter. Wow. I, I tell you what, you've taken rhymes and you've almost gone into Hallmark card material. I think you should start, you know, writing for Hallmark. You know, I honestly... Could you imagine that in a Valentine form? Uh, I don't, you know, I've really missed you. That ain't no lie. When it comes to my love, you, you are my guy. I guess it would have to be to a guy. Um, <laughs> uh, rhyme so smooth. Can't believe it's not better. I mean, it's, yeah, it's practically a, a Valentine's Day card, you know? You better believe it. Jill Evans, hi. Hi, Jill. How are you? Getting the hunter, is it realistic? Like in Fishing Planet, it really feels like I'm fishing and the hunter does it feel like you're hunting. Um, in a way, in a way, um, if you start sprinting around like crazy, it might not feel that way. A lot of people will start sprinting around um, to, to care, you know, cover a lot of ground. Um, and if you're not into that, then, um, then it won't feel realistic to you. But if you, you know, Set up a tree stand in some place and kind of uh, wait for the deer to cross by you or something like that. You know, feel pretty realistic, I would think. There we go. Pretty decent fish. I don't think it's that big, but it's nice to catch one. I was starting to think maybe this was just a bad day we chose. 
we needed to skip days to uh, catch a catfish, a decent catfish. But here we are. I hear some beepings behind me now. Misty Roach is here. Hi. Sold your carp rod, but not like you go carp fishing in a while. Well, yeah. At least it got you out of that point, eh? Heard some beeping. It doesn't look like we have a fish, so. What are the best mid-level lakes? Well, if we take a look at the acronym EESS, -E I guess mid-level would be that second E to uh, first S there. So I guess that'd be Everglades to St. Croix. That's what I would recommend, Caden. Two pound bluegill and a seven pound bass. Could a two pound bluegill and a seven pound bass. Good. Two pound bluegill. My name is Ron Burgundy. Do you know when Fishing Planet is coming out on Android phones? Never. Um, no, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't. People keep asking me this in the comments and whatnot. Um, if they would have told me, I would have put it in the video. You know, that's one way to look at it. Uh, or I would have put it in the comments. Um, Fishing Planet is historically, famously, uh, bad at communicating. They're just really bad at it. Before their country was at war. Um, if you don't know, they're from the Ukraine. So, um, yeah, they're really bad at chatting. They're really, they're not good at working with content creators either. Um, and, uh, and yeah. If, even if they did know when it was coming out on Android, they probably wouldn't tell me. They probably wouldn't tell anyone until it finally came out. And then they would be like, hey, BT Dubs, uh, Android came out today. So, hype. <laughs> the Fishing Planet doesn't know what hype is, essentially. Which lake is best for XP at level 40, Kanik or Delta? San Joaquin Delta. Well, going off the EESS, I don't know if I'm sounding like a broken record yet, uh, but you got Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin. Don't hear Kanik anywhere, uh, so I would assume it's San Joaquin. Uh, once again, the EESS acronym coming in for a save, like Superman steering a plane back down to safety. Uh, it's the answer to all questions in Fishing Planet. The Hunter or Fishing Planet? Difficult. Um, you know, uh, the whole reason I started my channel was actually to play The Hunter. And, uh, and, and if you were along for the ride very early in the BZ Hub, um, for the first year or two, that was all we did. We only played The Hunter, pretty much. Um, and I kind of got bored of it. Um, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, and I still go back and play it, and we still put out live streams and videos of it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I play a lot more Fishing Planet, it seems. People seem to enjoy the Fishing Planet vids, too. That might just be because there's less content creators making content for it. So uh, maybe I'm just getting uh, people in a barrel or something like that. But we'll just we'll just see, I guess. What should you target at St. Croix? Well, one could say that uh, this channel, BZ Hub, has many a video fishing at St. Croix. And, uh, and, you know, watching those videos would, would give you a little bit of, uh, information on what you should fish there. But, since I'm feeling like, uh, giving out some secrets today, I would say if you were to make some money at St. Croix, it'd probably be because you were, uh, fishing for pike. Everyone seems to think that the pike are the way to go at San Joaquin. Which day? It seems like the next day is the exact same. It is. Gosh darn, man. Let's skip to day three. Alrighty, here we go. Let's try this again. I'd say if we're still not catching stuff at this part uh, by, you know, by today, we're gonna switch spots. The other time we were out here, we came out to this spot, and uh, and we weren't, or I guess we went out to the other spot. We have two main spots we fish for catfish here, and uh, and the one spot wasn't working, so we came over here, and then we started slaying them. So uh, that's what we're gonna do this time around. We started over here, and if we're not doing good here in a bit, then we'll uh, we'll go and go to the other one. And the match rod.
when will I do another Fishing Planet mobile video? Uh, probably never. Um, there's really no need to. I've already done all of that stuff on uh, on PC. So if you want to see what the next part in the mobile would be, just uh, check out our videos on PC. You know, you know, you know. It's just a lot of work because I have to film everything on my phone and then I have to put it onto my computer and I have to do the voiceover. It's just... It's a lot of work for the same videos I've already put out, I guess. We had buffalo chili with cornbread muffins. Ooh, that sounds good, Q. Uh, it is a bazillion degrees here, it feels. My house is 75, which is ridiculous. I start sweating when it goes to 70, so I've been sweating all day long. Um, so chili honestly makes me really hot just thinking about it. Um, no, we had, uh, I just made a little microwave meal. Nothing fancy today. Just warmed something up in the microwave and ate it. Gives me some time to work on other stuff, like cleaning my house for my brother's graduation party this weekend. So, uh, which my, my wife was not too keen on me doing a live stream tonight instead of helping her clean. But I said I would clean outside of the live stream. And that, uh, people would appreciate me doing the live stream. So we'll just, uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll just have to see. Plus, next week, we're gonna have to not do our live stream on Wednesday. The old KC Sporting Soccer Team's got a game, a match, a match on the pitch, um, and we're gonna go watch it on Wednesday night. So I won't be here for the uh, for the live stream. So I thought, ooh, definitely can't miss this week's live stream. Otherwise, I'm gonna miss two live streams in a row, and that's gonna be awful. So yeah, need more sturgeon, and then I can go to Maku Maku. Very nice. Go for it, dude. Just found your account last week and I love Fishing Planet Vids. Pickle, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Uh, Tyranno King's in the house, how's it going? You should do more bass fishing in real life. You know, Nate, uh, honestly, the bass fishing videos I've put out on the channel are my worst performing videos I have on my channel. It's ridiculous. Um, for some reason, I think it's because they're oversaturated. You hear about people that like, you know, there's a bazillion Call of Duty players out there. And everyone knows the big ones, you know, Dr. Disrespect, uh, etc, etc. <laughs> I can't think of the other ones my brother watches. Um, but there's a there's millions of other players that play Call of Duty and uh, and they have a hundred subscribers on YouTube and they'll never see the light of day. That's because there's so many people that put out Call of Duty videos on YouTube it's really easy to get lost and uh, and never be found. You almost need a video that breaks out of that whole uh, grind there. Um, so you know just good luck to anyone in that situation but um, I feel like bass fishing videos are the same. I feel like bass fishing videos underperform in comparison to other videos simply because so many people put out videos fishing for bass. And so if you were to look up on YouTube, bass fishing, um, you know, Guggen Squad's gonna, you know, pop up. You're gonna see Flair, you're gonna see uh, John B, you're gonna see all these other people who are real famous, Lake Fork guy or whatever, uh, famous for fishing for bass. You're never gonna see the BZ Hub video. It's gonna be, uh, you know, I don't know, 1200 pages uh, to the right, you know, you're never gonna see it. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not sure. I like fishing for bass, um, but will I do more videos of it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll just have to see. When do you think Fishing Planet will go to Android? Never, ever, ever. No, I have no idea. Within the next uh, five to 10 to 20 years, I would think. I have uh, come out only on iOS. 75 is normal temperature. Temperature I live in Texas. Yeah, it's not here. Trophy red tail. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. That was 7,000 experience right there. So close to leveling up. No, it's 70. Well, it's 75 in the house, but it's like you know, it was like. 95 degrees outside. I was not about it. I told Zachary if I hadn't had a live stream today We would both be out in the creek right now Waiting around fly fishing right now just cuz uh, I was so hot. I was sweating. I was just like dude I just want to go take a swim at the moment So eh, we'll see 
should be do Hallmark can't really blame me. You know we shouldn't battle because then I'm gonna flame you to a world that I'll show I'll rap battle anyone unless it's Bo unless it's Bo. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Hope your day has been well, Matthew Talent. Of course it has. Thanks for asking or thanks for uh, hoping for me. I suppose. I have some fish on. Let's reel this guy in. Another 50 pounder. It seems like if we're catching one that isn't a trophy at this point, it seems to be around 50 pounds. We've probably caught uh, two or three uh, catfish right now that are in the 50s. Seems to be the go-to size. But hey, look, we're literally just skiing them on top of the water right now. If I let go, I'm going to stop skiing them. He's just like right there on top. I knew it. I knew it. Just wanted to zoom in and show him, and now he's now he's. We could have literally dragged him in the whole way. The things I do for content. Come on, man. Could have skied him to the top the entire way. No clue you're a de- I, I suppose not. No, I guess not. Did not know. I missed the thing about the Finland Reserve. Just a sec, I gotta scroll up. BZ, have you been catching up on Call of What? How do you feel about the new Finland Reserve, if you've heard of it? Uh, I have heard of it. I put out a community post about it. Um, so uh, make sure you're uh, paying attention to those community posts that I put out, because those are always fun to see. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm, you know... Uh, if you don't know, I've said many a time, my favorite map in the Hunter Call of the Wild is Verhanga. I love African hunting in the game. Um, and so, what map do you think I've been looking forward to? Dude, seriously, we were literally skating him on top of the water. <laughs> Could have brought him in and now he's at 200 feet. Oh, I feel so stupid right now. Okay, but uh, so yeah, you can imagine that for the past... Uh, since for Honga, basically, I have been looking forward to another African map, and we still do not have it. So, uh, a Finnish map, you know, fantastic. Uh, what do I expect? I expect there to be brown bears, I expect there to be reindeer, uh, whitetail, uh, those raccoon dogs, uh, capercale, I don't know how to say it, the grouse, the big grouse that are almost like turkeys. Um, hopefully, like, whatever, like, ptarmigans or something like that. Um, obviously there's some ducks involved. We saw them fly over in the trailer. Um, more than that, I don't know. Maybe a, a rabbit or something like that. But that's kind of what I'm picturing at the moment. We'll just have to see. First stream, Caden. Hey, glad to have you. Glad to have you in the stream, man. Grind for XP at level 45. <laughs> You know, you know, it's E-E-S-S, bro. It's the same acronym as always. It's the answer to all questions. Big Cod, Big Cod streamer, good deal. So just wondering when it might come up. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know. Never, I guess. Add saltwater fish, I don't know. Can't zoom in while reeling, I agree. It would have uh, helped me in that scenario, wouldn't it have? At least we haven't caught another fish. We just deal with this 50 pounder for forever. Bring the VR mode back. Oh, is there a VR mode for Fishing Planet? I was born March 3rd, three days in the hospital. She's helping now, already been fishing with us. What? That sounds awesome. Kinda, kinda. Kinda's good enough. Where is she? She's already an angler, and that's what uh, that's what matters, right? Honestly, this is Noonie. You think so? What would you think of an Aussie map in in the Hunter or in uh, in Fishing Planet? I would say yes to either. Uh, I think an Aussie map in Fishing Planet or the Hunter would be cool. It's been a long couple days. I haven't been able to catch up. No trouble there. Dalton M. Hey everyone. Keon Sands is here. There's a name I haven't seen in a while. I feel. You should chat rule no pre-rating fish or other animals in Call of the Wild. I'm playing on chat rule no pre-rating fish. 
Yeah. Just caught a unique burbot. Ooh, very nice. 14.1 pounds. Very cool. Liam's got to go. Take care. All right, dude. Come on, man. We're at the last 30 feet. A fish that we literally had at 40 or something like that went out to 200. It was a gilded, right? We saw him. He was a gilded. He is a trophy gilded, at least. I thought he was going to be another 50 pounder, but at least he's 100 pounds. Jeez Louise. That's going to level us up, though. Let's see. There we go. Oh. The, the Rodster XL rod case. We got duo swim baits, jigging spoons, six inch uh, spider grubs, some carbon leaders, ca cap and hooks, uh, and an ADOT jig head. Well, top notch. Love it. Two more levels to go, tell Amazonian maze. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm giving this spot, eh, I don't know. One more minutes, one more minutes and we're leaving. Oh, I've never said this. Thank you for getting me through. You've gotten me through. Warden train, COVID in the hospital. Always love tuning in, man. Appreciate it more than you. Well, Dev Boss, you've made it fun along the way as well. So I appreciate having you here. It's always, it's always fun. You know how many times I get to do rap battles outside of uh, when you're here? Never. For some reason, that never comes up in life. Uh, I don't know why I'm not in a marketing meeting and someone's like, all right, rap battle time. <laughs> what do you think? That's a decent sized red tail, actually. Not gonna zoom in on it. Because obvious reasons. Gosh dang it. How should you progress early game? EESS, of course. The acronym of all acronyms. The answer to every question in Fishing Planet. If you don't know what EESS is, look it up on the channel. We've got videos describing how to do it. You should go fish for sturgeon. Ah, oh, you should hang on for tomorrow's video, red group. You just wait. Come on, man, get in my belly. Little 50 pounder? Oh, 49 pounds. Dude, so close. Jeez Louises. Look at this guy way over yonder this is the match rod we were going for a small catfish here and we did not catch a small catfish we caught a stinking silver croaker throw that dude on a hook we gotta throw him out there again I don't know how this doesn't look very I'm gonna increase the leader even more I want this bobber to be uh, just dragging along the bottom, essentially. It's not. It's not dragging along the bottom. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're moving. Zoom in, I dare you. Oh, you're, you're bad, man. You're bad. We're moving spots. I'm over this. Let's go. I feel like my microphone's been picking up on everything lately. It's been really annoying. Gotta go for the night. Love you, bro. Hey, absolutely, man. Glad to have you. It was good to see you again. Well, I did it. I got to play college football and get my chance to shine. Woo! Very nice, dude. That's awesome. Where are, where are you? Where are you playing? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where. Where are you going? We want to know. EESS. What is EESS? Let's see here. Is this? I can't even remember how to do it. Is it this? Or is it, uh, or is it the other way? Let's see. Gonna work? That's definitely not it. I'm not sure. It's not working. It's not working. Anywho, EESS stands for Emerald Lake Everglades San jo uh, Saint Croix San Joaquin. It is the main spots to fish if you're trying to uh, periods in between. You think? 
That seems annoying. Why would I make a quick thing that's not easy to type? Use smaller fish for bait. Yeah, see, you can do it in uh, Russian fishing. You just can't do it in this game. Dang. Oh, beeping. We got beeping. Beeping. We've got beeping. Ryan Hoskins, how's it going? See, I tried that, Jill. Ryan. You're making it so that I can't read everyone's comments because they're going up. Um, Creek cock two bass, but I stepped in a hole and fell in eight foot of 48 degree water. Goodness gracious. So you got, uh, you got wet, I hear. And then a 10 pound trophy, very nice. Both Aussie fish are mean. Murray cod in the south. Uh, Barra. Barra. Bass and fish further north. Plenty of saltwater and brackish species. Yeah, I think the saltwater and brackish would be really fun. Uh, yeah, thinking the cavy fish and kind of stuff. Brevard College in North Carolina. Wow, that sounds fancy, man. Brevard. Sounds like a fancy place. You're a fancy person. <laughs> but yeah. That sounds awesome. What, what position are you going to play? Do you know? I guess they'll they'll put you in a in a spot wherever they think is best, but hopefully you're playing what you what you like. DZ, thanks for making writing my essay a little easier. Well, I or more entertaining, I should say. I was gonna say I don't know what I'm saying that you're putting in your essay, but uh yes. I'm glad that I am helping. <laughs> Add um, E E S S. Oh god. Too sure on deer species, but I know there's kangaroos, pigs, wombats, turkey. I believe there is a uh, whitetail and maybe red deer. Yeah, there's like a there's like rusa, uh, bantang, other stuff. Can't really think of at the moment, but yeah, there's there's stuff there. Emu and cassowary. Ess, yeah, I tried them all, Zach. I don't know why it's not working. I'm gonna be playing a lot of positions based off of my film that they said. Ooh, well, sounds like you're a, a Swiss Army knife of uh, football. That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. We got lots of beeping right now, not a lot of fish, which is just fantastic. Don't you love that? Yo, there we go, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Is it broke? Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> a giant surgeon in real life and it snapped off? No. Sounds pretty sick though. I love this uh, Christmas song in the background. Put it onto an alternative hip hop uh, playlist, and they always seem to sneak in uh, a Christmas song for some reason. Cool green name, Bara. Bara? What did what did I say then? Sneaky Christmas, exactly. Sneaking their way into everything, just like uh, when it's almost Halloween and then all of a sudden boom there's Christmas stuff in the stores it's Christmas being sneaky dude I'm telling you there it's just a sneaky holiday told you I wouldn't miss this dream well glad to see you Matthew Roberts good to see you oh what do we got on here though that's the question I can't see it in the water so I'm gonna go with a gilded maybe yes sir 50 pounds! Seriously! Come on! We are nailing the 50 pounders, seriously. We need to look and see how many we've caught around that size. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous how many we've caught. <laughs> okay, so really it's only it's only two. I guess we caught more the other day. But we'd we have we would have been at like four or five if I hadn't have moved days.
Barramundi. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. I couldn't think of the full name, otherwise I was gonna say it, but I was like, can't think of it. I was like Barracuda, Kookaburra. I was like, no, but that's not it. What is that fish? And um, now, now you reminded me, so thank you. Appreciate it. The entire, every single interior of every store, Christmas Christmas. I know, what, what sort of thing are they trying to pull? It's like Thanksgiving doesn't exist or something. I expect to see football and Thanksgiving decorations, huh? Yeah, no skipping the Christmas already. Huge cut bait, use 8T, trust me. See, but last time we were catching them on 10, so I, I, I don't think it matters that much. But we're, we have huge cut bait on there, you know? Uh, I will, here, I'll do this. I'll do this just for you. Just for you, money god. Usually I just call people backseat gamers and then get mad at them, but this time, I'm actually gonna do it. We're gonna throw an ADOT on here since this is our huge cut bait rod anyway. We'll throw an ADOT on, boy. There we go, we'll toss this bad boy out. To the magic spot. What pound line do you recommend for Everglades bass gar fishing? Um, above 14. I think it's fine or 12 I think I don't know I had 12 one time but I didn't have max drag so if you have max drag you might be able to get away with 12 otherwise I think 14 is like a handle all for Everglades first unicorn Sunday it was a Colorado golden trout Ooh, that's a good one that's that's a good one to start out with that's for sure no Thanksgiving where you live what's it like uh, uh, um, have you ever been to a buffet uh, and um, and a lot of people don't know anything about the holiday except that uh, pilgrims and Native Americans ate together um, if you can think of a buffet and then mix it with people who don't know much about history That's kind of what it's like I'm sure that there's got to be an Australian version of that Right where like uh, the English people like came and met with uh, the Aborigines or something in uh, Australia and shared a meal What is an Australian Thanksgiving? There's got to be a day for it same sad goose. They should add treble hooks that have a higher catch rate but lower XP. Ooh, Taylor Shearer. Thanks for the sub. <sighs> that would be interesting, Jill Evans. Yeah, and then like, uh, and then like you have to keep them no matter what or something like that. That's the one trouble. I, I, I was using. I was not against using treble hooks, um, but one time, I caught a catfish, and. And of course, I'm more in it for the sport, and uh, but I was using a treble hook, and he swallowed it big time, um, and I could not get it out for the life of me. Um, I was pulling on it, I was trying to get, the, I'd get one barb, and then another barb would go in. Um, it was just a mess, and it just got way more bloody than I ever wanted it to. And I felt so bad that I was just in it. I, you know, I was excited that I caught this big fish, and uh, and honestly, I never did get the treble hook out. Um, never was able to get it. The only way I would have been able to do it would be to like cut the inside of his like belly or whatever that was holding the treble hook in. Um, and I just assumed that that giant catfish I caught went back into the water and uh, eventually died. I hope he worked that, that hook out, but I doubt he did. Um, and he was a pretty good sized catfish. And after that, I told myself that I would never use a treble hook again unless I was in it to keep every fish that I caught. Um, so anyway, that's my, my sob story about treble hooks. That's why I don't use them anymore. Um, Unless I'm unless I'm using like a crankbait or something that has two of them and I'm like fishing for bass or something like that that uh, 
hopefully won't swallow it that crazy. Um, you know, I don't use them, but I, I don't I don't put treble hooks on bait anymore. Um, that's just it's my thing. That's my thing. I was fishing on Emerald. The random person couldn't catch the pike slash. I recommended you to him. He caught it shortly after. Hey, right on. Good deal. If he caught it shortly after, he must have uh, just cut to the end where I actually catch it. Because the pike slasher was fairly annoying to catch. As soon as I hit level 32, will I unlock this stuff too? Um, I think it's 34, isn't it? Is it 34? Or do I just recommend level 34? I can't remember now. Zachary Frentz. Hello, hello. There was lots of fighting slavery when the Brits showed in the 1700s, 1800s. I can't remember. Well, they must have had one point where they sat down and ate. You, you think the pilgrims and the Native Americans never fought? Ha, ha! I ha at you, sir. No, they definitely did fight a lot. Um, so, in fact, that's that's usually what people don't know about Thanksgiving. <laughs> The stolen generation. Bass don't do that much. I always use circle hooks. Circle hooks are great. They really are. I will say, uh, I use, uh, I don't know. I like to use circle hooks, but when I'm bobber fishing, I usually always forget. And when I see the bobber go down, my immediate thought is like, gotta set that hook. And I, and like, I end up, until I remember that I shouldn't do that, I usually miss like every single one of them. <laughs> I remember doing a video um, out on a river uh, bobber fishing for Channel Cat and I was getting so upset off camera because I was like, oh my god, they are taking this so much but I am not catching anything. What is the deal? I didn't realize till afterwards that I was using a circle hook and I was trying to set the hook every time. Um, so I, I still caught like two. Um, that was during the camping video, if you've ever watched the camping video on Modern Day Outdoorsman, but... Yeah. This is a pretty good-sized fish, though. Zachary Harrison? Harrison? Is that right? Maybe? Thank you for the sub, appreciate it. But I will be back in a bit. Pickle sounds good. What type of fish do you have mounted behind you? That is my wife's tiger fish from Africa. What actually happened was the Brits killed a lot of them, and then the feast was a celebration of the victory. Ooh, well that's not, that doesn't seem very, uh, that doesn't seem like something that would celebrate these days. <laughs> All right, we got a big red tail on here. And this is with the dot hook. So hopefully, eh, hopefully, maybe that's the ticket. We just needed to go down a size, eh? I, I've got the unicorns prepped. They're all dressed up and ready to go. The moment, the moment we see that unicorn on there, you better believe they're gonna come out here and do a dance routine. I'm ready. Yeah, thank you. I think so too. Same football as yours, but we don't play with body armor apart from the little family head, which is player's choice. Ooh, interesting. Come on, Redtail. Give it up, bro. Here we go. He's coming up. He's coming up. You're at 14 feet. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm prepped. Oh, fake news, bro. Trophy. Boy, he put up a big fight for the trophy. You can see I was ready. I even, I even hit it. I even hit the freaking dance. Nope. Not a, uh, not a unicorn this time around, but... Hundred, nearly a hundred pound red tail. Look at that, he knows just, uh, just holding it with one arm. He's shaking a little bit, but otherwise he's like, nah. No big deal, hundred pound fish. Ah, I've caught these before, bro. Top notch. Well, that was with the eight dot hook. Though I will say that we caught a similar one with the 10 dot hook, so we still haven't proven anything. <laughs> Split second pink. I know, yeah, split second of pink. The right, uh, the right, uh, rod out here, yeah? Jeez, don't wait. I know, a hard-fought trophy. 
What's the biggest shark we've caught? I don't know. Let's see. Biggest shark we've caught is 209. I will say at the time, I didn't have any hooks that were larger than 10 Um They didn't come with the pack that came out with it that someone gifted us. So uh, the biggest one I caught on a 10 knot hook was a shark, was this shark. But I honestly didn't spend a lot of time fishing for them either. Um, we would do it like once a stream. I didn't really find it that fun. So, um, but you better believe when we head back out there again, I'm gonna catch me a unique Piraiba. I wanna catch one of these bad boys in real life. They look like so much fun. We'll just have to see though, we'll just have to see. What's the biggest fish? Oh, let's try that then. Let's see if this works. It might just be broken all together. There it goes. There we go. Top notch. Well, we at least know that that works. I don't know why the EESS one isn't working. It's strange. Best way to work a walker? By walking it, man. Uh, that's actually that's actually Friday's video. So someone asked about surgeon fishing. That's Thursday's video, and then Friday's video is a entire guide on uh, retrievals, casting and retrievals, um, with uh, with all your lures and stuff and fishing plans. So yeah. Yes, you're welcome for the mistaken tip. There you go. Oh, 60 I need tips for leveling up well you better uh, you better just basically watch the uh, BZ hub beginner series I guess and remember ESS is a good one there we go we got bites we got bites on two rods actually it looks like we 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 little piggies this one doesn't seem like it's uh, doing too much though oh my god are you serious let's reel this bad boy in Try to. We might have to stop midway to switch rods real quick. Hundred pound plus is unique. Is that right? Well, there's a monster on the A dot again. Giant rip saw. Catfish god number two. I am the second catfish god. Jawbreak. What's the coolest fish you've caught in this game? Tigerfish, of course. The Goliath tigerfish. The coolest fish. Everyone knows that. That fish made River Monsters. River Monsters was a great show without the Goliath tigerfish. But I think it really took off once he caught that Goliath tiger fish. I don't think anyone had ever seen one before, including myself. And so when people saw that and they were like, holy crap, that lives in like a river instead of the ocean, I think that is really when the show took off and, uh, and really became famous, so. Javion. Is it Javion or Javion? I feel like it's Javion, but I can't remember. Did you see that Fishing Planet updated oversized carp, silver carp, and big carp or oversized silver? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> goodness, I didn't know about the silver and the big head, but um, you've been able to catch oversized carp um, and weeping willows for forever, uh, according to the forums. So, so yeah. The eighth. Oh, been playing for almost 90 days. Your vids busy have gotten me through the tough spots. Hey, Zachary, glad to hear it. That's what. Uh, that's why I thought that they were gonna be good to put out, and uh, and why I did it the way I did it. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's laziness on my own, but I thought it would be funny. I guess the whole idea came because I remember trying to learn how to play Fishing Planet. It was just so annoying that I was like, okay, if I'm this annoyed playing this game, I know other people are gonna be annoyed playing this game. So uh, that's why I started that video series. <laughs> I was like, uh, this it's gonna be funny seeing how upset that I'm getting about these dang fish uh, and about this dang game, learning how to play it and all that. But at the same time, it might be helpful for other people. 
You need common snook right on, Jacob. Do I have any advice? PZ Hub Beginner Series. It's not, it's not just an advertisement. Of course, it's a little bit of advertising because it's my videos, but they're literally like one of the most helpful resources on YouTube. Uh, people tell me that they just pretty much watch, oh, that's a big gilded. We might have a unique on here. Um, that people tell me they kind of just watch the beginner series videos in the background while they're playing. Um, and I understand that because uh, my, um, my trouble of catching fish early in the game is very relatable. <laughs> I struggled and uh, and people still comment in the videos like trying to help me and I'm like bro that was two years ago the person you are trying to help is uh, has surpassed that point <laughs> you know Captain Unicorn might be coming out. What's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, that's a secret, don't you know? That's uh, that's something I put on the uh, on the old crossword puzzle on uh, last Christmas, was it? We did our uh, we did our prize giveaway, and I had a crossword puzzle of all these random questions about me, and uh, that that I had given away in live streams. So if you had paid attention or at least watched the live streams. Um, then you might have picked up on the answers, but, um, but yeah, favorite Pokemon's Gengar. He's awesome. Ghosty dude. Ghosty dude. What pound rods do you need to go to the Evergrades? I, I recommend Max Drag 12. Or if you can, if you can do a 14, do a 14, but Max Drag 12 at the least. Come on, dude. Oh, another trophy! Frick a frack, man! Come on, we really needed a unique here! Ugh, $7,400 though, we, we surpassed our time. Why are you hitting me with an advertisement? I caught a big fish and you're hitting me with an advertisement? Get out of here with your advertisements. What do you think of the new Finland map? Yeah, I touched on that real quick. Um, I think it's gonna be okay. You know? Um, I, I guess I was excited for an African map. I thought by now, we would have had another African map. Um, so hopefully that's the next map they put out. But, that being said, we're not catching anything on this 12. Uh, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna put a 10 odd on here. Actually, let's go 9 odd. Mix it up even more. Mix it up even more. We got a 10 odd, a 9 odd, and an 8 odd now. Muscle Man Ray's here. How's it going, Muscle Man Ray? Um, but yeah, the Finland map, I think it's, it'll be fun. Kill Shot Gaming with the sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. Like a, a girlfriend telling you that you're, uh... Yeah, you're totally free to go hang out with your friends. That's... that's fine. <laughs> we got beeping already. Boy, this reel's at 32%. Goodness gracious. No, 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 no. All right, we're ready now. Uh, I feel like we need to at least catch one unique catfish and then we can move on to doing something else. I really thought we would have caught one by now. <sighs> it's a big boy, it's a unicorn. When I am on Everglades, what pound of floral line should I use? Uh, like I said, two other people. 12 to 14 is what I always recommended for fishing for bass. Um, and stuff like that. Um, if you want to go fish for the snook, you might need something a little heavier. Uh, up to 22 or 24 or something like that. Otherwise... Should be good with 12 or 14. 12 max drag, 14 not. 
title starting to sound oh i know yeah it is i thought we would have caught one by now we caught them in the last stream and it was a half and half we only spent half the stream playing and we still caught the uniques then to catch a big one. Just stop to say hi, Will Talon. Thanks for stopping to say hi. Have a great stream, Chase B. Yep, take care. Rage Fanta. ABC, big fan. Love your content, man. Have a great night. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much, Rage. Appreciate it. All right, dude, you're at 30. Come on, man. Just get in the boat. Get in the boat. We don't have a boat, but you get it. Get in the boat. Oh, we got another fish on. Come on, man. We really could use you getting out of the water right now little gilded fantastic yep that's great not upset at all another small fish i love how uh i always see the comments There's another small fish and then it ends up being like a hundred pounds freaking small fish with your hundred pounds get out of here Gotta go, gotta go. Come here, fi big fishy. How do you fish Max Drag? Oh, Jacob. You are in luck, my friend. We literally put out a Max Drag video just a few weeks ago. I would recommend going and watching it. Lucky YouTube. Hey, Bo. Hey, Lucky. How are you? Just watching this in the background while I'm making bank at the Congo. Well, I'm glad you're making bank. Are you making bank from the bank, or are you making bank from the boat? We got a fish on. Fish on the Dinot there. This guy's not cooperating, so we're gonna switch. Big fish, big fish, holy schmoly. Not a big fish, it doesn't seem like. Oh, drag shot up though. Alright, that's something. Something on there. Hey guys, we got a fish on there. In case you didn't, uh, in case you didn't get that, got something on there. All right, cool. That guy's sticking in the 30s. Hasn't changed his mind yet. This dude just went out to 100. That's great. Ugh. You switch rods, hoping they get tuckered out, and then they don't, and then you just get upset. Come on, there we go. We're in the 20s now. Get in my belly. Let's go, little gilded. Yay. All right. Nine knot hook again. Let's see what we got. Wouldn't mind if he just like pulled us out to 200 right now. At least then I'd feel like we had a big fish on, you know? Just what I don't know. How's it been, mate? It's been ages since I was in this room. Jack Bolstridge, I tell you what, t today must be a special day. I have seen names that I feel like I haven't seen in months. And, and as I always say, we've been worried sick. You know, where the heck have you been? Um, but glad to see, glad to see you showed up. We all thought you were dead. No, we didn't. But uh, yeah, definitely. Glad to see ya. If you live in western Dakota County in east Minnesota, take shelter now. You're in a under tornado warning. Could you imagine if of these 77 people, one of them was in western Dakota County of east Minnesota? That would be crazy coincidence. We got 50 states. Out of the entire world, we've got people from not even in the United States here. But of 77 people, could you imagine? Hey, BT Dubs, we've had, we, we like topped at like 80 some people in the live stream yet. Somehow, I guess it's because I haven't caught uniques yet. Is that, is that it? You're, you're all holding back on the likes because I haven't hit. I, I, I don't mean to say, you know, I'm under delivering because I am under delivering. You know, I, uh, I did expect to catch a unique by now, but, uh, you know, um, uh, yeah, you know, feel free. Feel free, I guess, you know, wait till I get a unique and then, you know, maybe give a like or something like that. But uh, otherwise, just hold back. It's fine. No, not a big deal. I understand. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Come on, fish. I'm trying to see if I can see it underwater, but I can't tell at the moment. 
Not really easy to see. I assume it's a gilded then. Oh, I kind of saw it turn under there. Do a little flipperoo. Comes out soon, if at all. I'm sure you're not the only one. I wouldn't mind it either because my I think my my mobile video is the highest on YouTube right now. So if it opened up for Android, baby, all I gotta do throw that Android into the title and boom, it stays up on top. It's gonna it's gonna be the best. And you know what? If more people start playing Fishing Planet because it goes out on Android, you better believe they're gonna be going out on YouTube and trying to learn how to play the game. <laughs> and your boy Bo is right here to teach him how to play. So I, I, I'm excited. I would love for them to put it out on Android. Um, but we don't know if they ever will is the problem. Bro, that was a big, uh, that was a big splash right there. Part of me kind of wants to throw out a rod right here. There's a big splash right here between this log and that rock. Should we go into experimental mode? This could be like the uh, the sturgeon on San Joaquin, where you're like throwing like 10 feet and then you catch a bunch of fish. Look at all, look at all this stuff moving. Trophy gilded 109 pounds. I think that's our biggest one of the day, but we're still in the freaking trophies. Ridiculous. You see the fish moving over here? What is that about? What could it be? What could it be? Still watching. Something big moved right here, I swear. Do it again. I feel like a ghost hunter. Hey, you. You in the water there. Make a sound if you're, you, you, you exist. <gasps> there, see? Ah, that's small splashes, though. That's gotta be a small fish. All right, moving on. Best you sure. Well, thank you, Rage. Goodness gracious. You have great taste. No, kidding. All righty. Come on, Uni. Let's go. We got to get him. We got to get one at least. Forgot about likes, dislikes, speaking for myself. Oh, I know. I understand. I understand. Uh, yeah, yeah. I always feel weird asking people for likes. Sometimes I have to, you know, I have to go into my YouTube personality. Just everyone hit the like button subscribe if you haven't followed bz hub really appreciate it um yeah buy t-shirts and and become a member of the channel and stuff and now we're back we're back to just being me that's great no i really don't like uh asking people for things i throw the subscribe and the like at the end of the video that's about it i don't I don't like to pressure people. And I really don't like clickbait titles either, but my brother has, he has been uh, trying to get me to do more of them. But we're just, I'm just sticking, I'm sticking to it. Western Dakota County in Minnesota. Oh, <gasps> Jelevens, the second Jelevens, oh no. Fishing Planet do be trolling, I know. All of your videos love watching your uh, streams after a long day. Well, Rage, appreciate it. Hopefully you've just liked the videos, not licked them. Um, but, you know, whatever you're into, man. Can't cry over skill uh, spilled milk, I get, I know, I know. It's over, right? You can't do anything about it. What level do you unlock Knee Creek? Uh, what is it? Like 40 something? 42 maybe? I'm not sure. Pickles back. All right, come on, man. We, this is great fishing right now. Maybe we need to switch spots, eh? We've been fishing over here for a little bit. Maybe it's time to switch back to the other spot. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. I'm getting five, four, three, two, one. One. All right, we're leaving. Never looking back. We're going. We're going for biggins at the other spot. Turn on the boat, he nil. We got big fish to catch. Full 
speed ahead. I'm gonna do a big swirl to uh, round the fish into that spot there. All right, here we go. This is where the big fish are gonna be. I just know we're on a different day, mind you. For those of you who are like, you were just here though, and you didn't catch anything. It's a different day, different weather, different fish. This is gonna be the day we catch biggins. I can feel it. I can feel it in my toes. Don't you know, you ever feel it in your toes? Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Go ahead and lick the stream too. Thank you. Thank you, Mason. If everyone could just go ahead and lick the stream, that would be great. Head off. I'm hoping to be here more often. Good night and good luck. Hey, take care, Jack. Remember, next Wednesday, we're going to be skipping. No stream next Wednesday. Um, but that just means we're going to have to doubly enjoy this one. That was not the one I wanted to pick up, but we still have a fish on this one, too. All right, top notch. Two fish on right now. That is great. I love juggling and lots of beeps. It's my favorite. This guy is taking out line. Fantastic. With a capital T. Which lures work well for tarp and snook in Everglades? I do. I do, I do. And I made videos about them. I always like the glow-in-the-dark crankbait for uh, tarpon in the Everglades. For the snook, there's different stuff you can try. I uh, honestly can't remember the one that I caught. Uh, crankbaits seem to work fine. Um, medium spoons work well, too. Um, gosh dang, we have three on now, dude. This one's in the 60s, at least. I need to grab that third rod, is the problem. Ooh, that shot up. He's in the 70s, so he doesn't seem that big at the moment. Jinx myself. Come on, dude. Okay, he's in the 30s. God, this dude's at 140 now. We can just catch this guy. Without losing any of the other ones, then we'll be alright. Then we'll just be juggling the two. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You're at 14 feet. Let's go. Let's go. Red tail. Good deal. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Roll hard. Good deal. He's at 6. Okay, so that's going to be our next target. Yes, sir. I should take this uh, spot of the video and make a juggling video. How to juggle multiple rods in Fishing Planet. That's my new YouTube voice, uh, YouTube host voice. Hello everybody, Bo here from BZ Hub, and we're gonna be juggling rods today. Hit the like button and subscribe. Come on, dude, we have the 40s. We need the Captain Uni, I agree. I'm hoping that this third one will be, but I feel like he's just gonna be another uh, 100 pound fish. No, I hit four. That's okay. Uh, he was in the 40s. I thought we had him. Major poppers there, but that's like level 39 lure. Okay. Oh, good to know. Whee! coming straight at us there. Now he's at 130, 120. We really need to focus on this other rod. If we can get him in, then we'll be golden. I feel like we had this dude in the 40s though, now he's in the 60s. 50s now. 
BC stands for something. What does it stand for? BC stands for Bo and Zach. My brother and I. I was hoping he would get into making videos, but he didn't. So it's just, uh... So he helps out. He's in some of the videos, uh, in the live fishing videos sometimes. And, uh, he makes the very rare video, but he's bad at sticking with it, so... Did we lose him? No, we did not. No, we did not. Okay, good. That scared me. Oh, we lost him. I was like, seriously? After all that, we lost him. This dude's right in front of us now. Oh my god, he's back out at 70. These fish are not getting tired, dude. Tucker out. Yank and crank. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Big yanks and big cranks. Come on, dude. You're, you're right, there, right there. We go. Here we go. Here we go. 89 pounder. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Successfully juggled three. Yep. Not a big deal. Do it all the time, as you can tell. Not impressed at all. Channel is BizHub. I know. Every time it does that for me when I like type in my own channel, it'll be like, do you mean BizHub? And I'm like, no. I'm literally BZ Hub. Why do you think I'm trying to type in BizHub? Um, yeah, it does that to me all the time. It'll be like, these are your recommended tags for the video. BizHub Fishing Planet. BizHub Uniques. BizHub. And I'm like, dude, I am not BizHub. I don't know why you keep thinking that. <laughs> So yeah, super annoying. I I also wonder if it hurts my search results, but uh, we'll never know. Take a shower, have a good night. All right, Daniel, take care. Noah the Reaper, sup? Not a scary name at all. We don't all think that you are the actual Grim Reaper, but maybe you are. Maybe you are the actual Grim Reaper. Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought that the Grim Reaper's name is actually Noah? And that he likes Fishing Planet? Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I die today, tonight, after this live stream, or during the live stream, I get in, the, you know, wherever the Grim Reaper is, I meet him and I'm like, yo, how's it going? And he's like, oh my god. BZ Hub, I watch you on YouTube. <laughs> I love your I love your fishing planet videos. <laughs> and I'm like, no way, you have good taste. And then he's like, ah, oh. and I'm like, ah, oh. and then and then he's like, well, you know, I challenge you to a game of fishing planet to uh, go back to life if you want, but I feel like you'd beat me, so I'm just gonna say we're good, and I'd be like, all right, dude, well. It's good seeing you. I'll uh, hopefully see you in a long time from now. And that that's like my experience talking with Noah the Grim Reaper. And I'll be able to come back and tell everyone about it. It would be awesome, I think. What level are we? We're level 66 now. We're real close to 68. And once we get that 68, you better believe we're going the Amazonian maze. Got to catch them Piraiba. Um, the big, the big Arapaima. We got the bull sharks there. Um, I'm gonna be going after the wolf fish more. I'm just excited. I'm, I'm just really excited about the Amazonian maze. This guy better be a flipping unicorn is all I'm saying. After all the trouble we've gone through to catch this dude, if he has a 109 pound gilded catfish at this point, I am just gonna lose it. Oh, could you, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Come on, dude. In the 40s. In the 30s. Come on. Big fish. Big fish vibes. BFE. Yeah. Woo. Drop down to dangerous levels there. I don't see him down below, so I guess he's a gilded. You'd better not be a hundred pounds. You better be more than a hundred pounds. Come on, dude. 
It is on the 10 aught hook, which is a good size. Good sign as well. Come on, dude. Oh, he's it. Let's go. Come on. Yes! A freaking new personal record, too! Hit the unicorns! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Okay, we all had a deal. You have to hit the like button now. We all said it when we caught the unicorn. We all said we would hit the like button. <laughs> oh my god. 160, uh, 161 pounds. $15,706. Uh, a modest 20,000 experience. Not shabby. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about, he nil. Yeah, boy. That's nice, man. Real nice. Should we, uh, we do that? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Should we put this? Put that down here. Noise. Do another one without this dang thing here. Hide it. Jeez. All right, top notch. I'm gonna get one of these. I never, I always forget to get a picture like this, too. Get one. Good deal. All right, we got him. We got him, boys. Boys and girls. I feel like I want to put a marker down for him, but at the same time, we already have two markers down for them, so. I guess we won't. All right, now we're gonna throw on the huge cut bait. We just gotta get a huge cut bait now. Let's go. We caught him on the 10-aught hook as well. Don't mean to honk any horns, but um, yeah. All right, we're going all in with the huge cut bait. Huge cut bait, 10-aught hooks. Say any more? No. 85 people watching, only 60 likes. Am I judging? Absolutely not. <laughs> I already smacked. Thank you, Draggy Yacht. Muscle Man Ray's getting claps, throwing down claps like a madman. He's a mad hatter, that Muscle Man Ray. Is this about to break? No, it's yeah. The the reel's yeah. The reel's a little weak, a little weak sauce. But I ain't saying anything. Not with Muscle Man Ray around. Very nice. Thank you. We got three rods with ten aught, huge cut baits out. If there's a red-tailed catfish, an uni an uni red-tailed catfish to be caught, gonna catch him. All, that's all I'm saying. I'm throwing it. I'm th I'm I'm throwing. I'm putting it all in. Rabbit out of the hat. Rolling the dice. Bunch of other things I'm making up on the fly. I type that in one time. Now every time I type in BZ Hub, types in Biz Hub. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. What's a fun place to fish after Emerald Lake? A fun place to fish after Emerald Lake, Naharan River, is my is my favorite mid place between Everglades um, and Emerald Lake Emer Emerald Lake and Everglades um, if it gives you an opportunity to go catch um, more bass if you're into bass fishing in real life or uh, if you just want a fun little fish to catch um, you can catch unique smallmouth bass at Naharan um, as well as largemouth bass so you can you can kind of I guess what I'm trying to say is that you can fish at Naharan catch lots of uh, Blah, 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 mixing up words. Catch lots of bass. Um, upgrade your equipment for catching bass. And then you can use that same equipment when you head to Everglades because you're going to be catching bass at Everglades too. So as you're upgrading your equipment on the Heron to catch more bass there, it's also going to be helping you out when you go to Everglades. If you see what I'm saying there. So that's what I would recommend there are good for relaxing and it's perfect well thank you drag yeah i appreciate it all right we got a fish on got a fish on boys 
in the 80s now. He's not putting out much of a fight, is he? Not putting out much of a fight, is he? He's in the 50s now. Oh, a little bit out of time, eh? Guess what we're not going to be do doing? We're not going to be zooming in on you. So don't think we're going to be doing that, man. It is a red tail, though. A little red tail. A little 43-pound red tail. All right, bro. I see you. Could you fish blue crab in a bit? Uh, no. No, we won't. Uh, once I say where we're fishing for the night, that's where we're going to be. So we're going to be at Marone River. Doesn't make much sense for me to say that we're fishing at Marone River and then end up fishing at blue crab. People are going to click on the video afterwards and they're going to wonder why I'm at blue crab. You know? What time are you streaming till? We're streaming till 9.30 p.m. Central, so another 36 minutes, I guess, by my clock. This seems to be a decent fish. He's putting up a fight, and he's at 118. Could he be? Could, could, or she. He or she. Could they be? Could they be the uni we've been looking for? The uni red tail. The uni catfish with a red tail. Ospago is here. How's it going? Have you unlocked the maze yet? What level are you? We're 66 now. So to answer your question, no. We haven't unlocked the maze yet. Two more levels. Looking forward to your stream for so long. Good to see you back, BZ. Have a good night. Oh, Rose. Well, right on. You have a good night as well. I don't know. I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. In fact, I'm going to say that this is a small fish to reverse jinx myself. Um... So we've got a super small fish on here. I'm not at all hoping that this is a unicorn, wink, wink. Um, but I would say fairly not confident that it is a unicorn here. Boy, he's pulling us out to 150 now. Definitely not. See what I'm doing? See what I don't wanna... It always works. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Fishing Planet. Such a doofus. Oh, we got him at 130 now. Bit a little. Li bit, bit a little. Bit a little uh, yank and crank now. To make up some room. Bit a little, 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 little. That one didn't work at all. Falcon Lake is fun. Yeah, I feel like some people really like Falcon Lake. I was not one of those people. <laughs> I really did not like Falcon Lake. Um, it was about as fun as Lenny of the Law for me. Caught some fish there. I really thought that I was going to enjoy it more. Just, I just didn't. I just didn't enjoy it. I was hoping that it would kind of be one of those places that I could like almost get some sort of fly fishing experience fishing uh, a lake for browns and rainbows and stuff uh, with, you know, like float rods or something like that. And it was not that at all. Falcon Lake is an extremely deep lake. And, uh, yeah, very difficult to do that. This hub, why? <laughs> Just got on Call of the Wild after a very long time of me quitting the game because I accidentally restarted And anyway, I gotta lose a stick Rio Grand Turkey. How do our rare are they? I am very satisfied fairly rare I guess I don't know I've seen uh, what as me I guess not Rio Grande specifically but you know running around uh, hunting in different areas I've seen two or three of them but I don't play as much as I used to so I can't really say but I've seen two or three like albino leucistic kind of looking uh, turkeys out there Lone Star Lake is fun for bass. You're right, it is. Taught every single fish in the game, it was miserable. <laughs> All right, we're at 70 now. Come on, man. Oh, we had him in the 60s for a split second. Now we are. There we oh, and back up to 70 again. We got beeping on the other rod, but I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Oh, 
Golly, dude. Seriously. We had him. We had him. He was coming in. He took us back out to 100 again. Definitely a small fish. Come on, man. We got a PB. We got a PB uh, gilded. Wouldn't it just be awful to get a gil uh, a PB a red tail too? Oh my gosh. That'd just be awful. Did you do anything to your game? It looks very vibrant. I actually have a filter on my recording um, software thing that uh, makes whatever I'm playing look more vibrant. The actual game is not. Um, so I, I don't mod any of my games, uh, but I do make the recording software look nicer. So I, it ups the contrast and it ups uh, the saturation. Um, it was kind of, uh, those were two things that I always did when I was editing my videos. So I just figured if I just did it while I was recording, then I would save myself. There's a big in. Let's go. Boom, dude. Let's hit it. Unicorns. Get some dancing in. All right. Not clickbait. Not clickbait. Got those uniques. Uniques. 18,645 XP. We're nearly halfway to being 67, you realize. We've got two fish and a, and a handful of other small ones, but we're almost halfway to 66 already. Or uh, 67, I guess. So, uh, yeah, if I just took a weekend and uh, fished these fish, I'm sure we'd be uh, pretty much all the way to uh, Amazonian Lake by now. <laughs> but, uh, but yet... Yeah. I don't do that for some reason. <laughs> what do you think of the polarized glasses? A complete waste of money. Don't buy them. Uh, $16,000. Sorry, that was kind of mean. Uh, but yeah, I don't recommend getting them at all. Uh, big fish today, boys. Unique red tail, unique gilded. What more can I say? Let's move on to another day. Oh, we gotta get in the boat. Yep, just spinning bait coins like they're going out of style. That's my style. Made 57, a quick, a quick 57,000 that day, not too shabby. All right, right now, we're gonna change it up. We are going to go catch a fit. Oh no, I don't have a five op buzz bait. I thought I did, but I don't. <sighs> oh man, that makes me super sad. Thought I had it. All right, well, what uh, what lures do they have? Let's see. Do they have a five odd buzz bait here. Four odd buzz baits. We already have that. <gasps> five odds. I already have them, but uh, don't want to go back. We have swim baits too. <gasps> hmm, I wonder, I wonder. We'll buy those two, just for the heck of it. All right, so we're going to try. Let's try the four out walker at first here. We're going to a special spot. Dom is going to bed. All right, good night, Dom. Want to do 30 days when we possible catching sturgeon only. If you're catching sturgeon only, believe you me, you're gonna be going through 30 days faster than you think you will. Rose, take care. Do you do the missions at each lake, or wh when you started, did you anything? Okay, we just go right into that rock there. We actually got pretty good air. Wow. Kind of want to hit that again. Full speed into the rock. Let's go! I'm sailing away! And a complete U-turn, and we're back! I am the best fishing planet player alive! <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Sorry. Uh, sturgeon. Just because they look cool on play. Like, hey, well, then that's what you gotta do. Uh, missions. Do I do missions for the lakes is what you were asking about. 
Um, I do missions. Yes. Okay, I gotta look at the map real quick. Not sure if this is the spot or if we need to go further. I think we need to go further in. Yeah. Let's throw one here too. Just to see. Just to see. I love casting around like logs and stuff like this. Gets me excited. You did the trout glitch with your bow. Yeah, basically, right? Begins. Wee, boys. Let's go. Victor. Victor Subia with the sub. Is it Subia or Subia? It's a red. It's a red. Is a red belly? I can't remember. Red peacock. Okay. Nothing. Red belly peacock is what I was hoping. Um, but I do the mission sometimes. I guess. I try to anyway. And you recommend for some quick and easy cash look I've been grinding for permanent target it's been going great well right on Jackson hello we're with them plus it gets rid of the massive glare on the matter and the Sun is no longer blinding well that's good have you made a video explaining types of hooks and lures and bus and stuff uh no I guess not types of hooks and lures I guess maybe yeah, I could probably I'd probably like cover that or something. Kind of like going over the different lures in the games and what you can use them for or something like that. You think? Have I killed the gray one, red deer, or white tail? Ah, I haven't. No. Um, I don't play the game enough for that, honestly. Oh, you. I was gonna say, come on, bro. Little peacock bass now. Ooh, look at this little guy. We got a little uni peacock on here? Putting up a little bit of a fight. You're gonna pull the whole boat, little butterfly peacock. A new personal record! Holy schmoly! Let's go dance, you unicorns! Dance! Holy crap! That is a surprise! That's awesome! Well, I am happy with that. That is just great. Hinel, what do you think about that, buddy? Why are we so low on you? You seem so tall right now. You look at you, you happy guy. Yeah, happy boy. All right, top notch. 2,000 bucks, buckaroonies. Well, top notch, I guess I'll mark that as the spot for butterflies. Unique butterfly peacocks right there. That's where you go. All right, we're moving on to catch bigger fish. We've got bigger fish to fry. There's a lot of fish on the bottom though. Interesting enough, I don't sure what they are. This is where the game lied to you and said that there was a huge fish and there was never none showed up on someone again. It was just gone out of existence. Poop. <laughs> it's very true. Baits, okay. Nice watching, but I gotta go to bed. All right, Matthew, take care of me. All right, all right, all right. Is this the spot? Let's see. So there's two spots. Two spots to hit up. One of them is this deep little spot right here. Um, not really sure what size of hook. I'm not even sure if this will work, but we'll try it. But I have another spot that we'll try as well. Just casting to this bush here yonder. Absolutely no facial, no. See, they really didn't have any facial expressions in Z, but they do now. I, I like to take credit for that because uh, I made a big, big fuss about my character never having any facial expressions. Um, and then they had facial expressions, so they, uh, they added it in. Did they have regular peacock bass? I'm not sure what you mean by regular. They have 
they have lots of different peacock bass. There's like five different species of peacock bass in the game. So I'm not sure which one is regular. Um, to Fishing Planet players, the butterflies are the regular ones because uh, you can catch them the soonest of all the species. Um, Alright, so evidently, if you cast towards this uh, fallen tree branch here, you'll catch a Pyara, is what the kids are saying these days. So let's see about that. All right, you stinking payara. You listening up? You big stinking vampire face fish? You better not come for my walker. I'll be real upset. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't want to mess with me. Wouldn't want to go after this little walker here. All right, we tried that. Let's give this a try. Got another one. Got another one here. I'm actually gonna throw something on the back, too. Throw something on the back for a little bit of something-something, you know what I mean? What are you going for? We're going for Payara. Testing the old buzz bait. I'm starting to think that they messed up the days. It was specifically this day that we're fishing on right now. Was good for the pie yard. I thought this was gonna work out perfectly. It does make sense though. Butterflies are rather small most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine if that was like there's a sense of scale in the game? Hey, great butterfly flathead catfish there. Oh, we just got a uh, peacock it looked like. Not what we were going for at all. Not a trophy. Ugh, that's so frustrating. Fr frustrating. I... You have no idea. Maybe you do. If you've been to our live streams before, in the past, you know that I have tried to catch the Pyara here many a time. <gasps> it just got hit by something. Come on, man. Oh! Oh! Come on, dude. Actually, go for it. Dude, we got a freaking bass. It's a jacunda. It's a small jacunda. What the heck? <laughs> that lure is nearly as big. <laughs> oh, he had a big appetite. That's awesome. Well, not the fish we wanted at all. Still kind of cool to catch, though. What fish are in Marone River? Ooh. They got red tail, catfish, they got gilded cat. Ooh, ooh, two big fish at the bottom. Oh. Thought we had something there. I'm gonna let this buzzbait just go to the bottom here. We're gonna try to figure out what those two bigger fish are. See if they'll go for a buzzbait. cast. I might have a spinner bait that we can throw too. Ooh, we have the uh, the swim baits as well. We could try that. Just remember that. A real wide. Yeah, I agree. This is actually how we caught a uh, unique uh, what are they called? Um, flounder on blue crab was uh, using a blue crab. No, it was a uh, and a flat whiskered catfish. 
We caught a unique flounder and a flat whiskered catfish. Dude, that's a big fish. Or at least it seemed like it. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not. Is it a payara? It is a payara! We caught one! Oh my god, this is my first payara on Maroon River. <laughs> oh, it took so long. Oh, we caught Biara. We caught Biara. We never caught a Pyara. This doesn't look like pie at all. Haha, -ha, insert dad joke. And canned laughter. I need to have a canned laughter button. That would be fun. Ah ha 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 ha. Samuel Wilson. I'm new to your channel, but you seem like a really nice person. We need more in the community. Thank you, Sam. I have my moments. You know how it is. When you have a rough day and then you have to come out and do a live stream for 80 people. <laughs> Sometimes. It may be a little rocky. <laughs> Especially when you get asked the same question, like, four times, six times, eight times. So we, we ended up catching that guy. Actually, okay, dogs are barking now. Ended up catching that guy pretty darn close to the boat. Might switch to a swim bait and see if we can get something bigger. I'm very excited that we caught one though. That was awesome. Best alligator gar baits are... Mm. I want to say it's large minnows. Real simple. Um, might try large cut bait or medium cut bait. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, we had something there right at the end. Maybe I need to scoot back. We keep getting stuff coming for it right as we're getting to the boat. Let's scoot back. I'm going to throw on that. Uh, swim bait. Throw on too heavy. <laughs> the max the max lure weight for this rod is uh is one and five eighth ounces and this lure weighs three ounces <laughs> have you ever casted a lure that was way too big for your rod i have you feel dumb when you do it just letting you know if you haven't done it um you're like holding it and your rod tips like going like this and you're like i definitely should not cast this because it's gonna break it um, but here we are. Oh, yeah, look at this. We definitely cannot. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, that's a failed plan. I came so close to bringing a uh, larger baitcaster, too. And I was like, nah, we won't need it. We could throw a popper, but that's pretty big. Somehow this uh, balsa wood popper weighs less than that uh, swim bait. Let's try it. I don't know why it disappeared. Ever thought of Calab? Calab with Flinter? It would be awesome. Um, uh, I don't know. I never wanted to bother him. I figured a guy like Flinter uh, gets asked to play like all the time, so I never wanted to ask him. I feel like it's weird to like ask up, I guess. He has more subscribers than me. So it feels weird for me to ask him, I guess. Just because I'm sure he gets asked a bazillion times for people to play with him and whatnot. Plus, I always felt weird playing with people in a hunting game. Because, like, if you see a big animal, then you, like, have to decide who shoots it. That was always weird to me. Okay. Okay, dogs. It's, it's, it's 9 o'clock at night. Lots of fish up on top right now. Are they ever gonna stop bar-
Man, big fish on top right now. Oh my god, they just stopped and they went back to it. Yeah, a couple big fish just showed up on the radar though. The dogs are barking, yeah. Ooh, fish right there. Grab it, bro. There we go. Dude. A trophy, a papa. <laughs> Not what I expected to catch. Why are they all grabbing it, like, real close to us? We do this entire stretch of this little creek here, and then they get it, like, ten feet away from the boat. Every time. Where are you fishing? We're fishing at Kanit Creek at the moment. Trying to catch some dang salmon. Real cold weather out here. But, uh, you know how it is. Fishing the glades. The glades of Kane Creek. No. We're, uh, we're at Maroon River. Fishing for some big ones. Ooh, two big fish along the bottom right now. Oh, I messed that up. My finger accidentally hit the uh, Twitch button. Hope you've caught hundreds of unicorns. Uh, not today, uh, but we caught two. Yeah, I'm getting tired of doing this. Let's try. What the heck is that about? There's movement right there. Let's try. Uh, yeah, 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 let's try that. Okay, I'm getting excited. Let's throw on a uh, five lot. Yeah, we got a five lot. What do they like? The Payara. Fish, I assume. Small minnows, shiners, or Raku minnows? Surely we have a Raku minnows. Not? Okay. Cool. There we go. Now we do. Throw on a Raku minnow. We got. All right. What's the. Uh real Let's do that oh, there's movement over here by this tree too let's try this first oh there's a little bit of current too Well, this whole back corner over here might have decent fish in it, honestly. Just wait, we're gonna throw a fruit onto one of these and we're gonna catch like a giant tambaki. Sick two fish in here. Oh yeah. The bull trout, that's a fun one. Caught three unis that I saw. Three? Oh yeah, that's true. We did catch three. You're right. Thanks, 66, Paul. Yeah, we had uh, the two catfish. Then we caught the, the butterfly peacock, right? That was it. Pretty sure. Dude, it's racing. It's it's running around. We just haven't got them. How is the weather in Kansas? The weather in Kansas is hot. Um, last week... We were in a lovely little pocket of weather in the high 70s and low 80s, low to mid 80s. And then all of a sudden this week, it's like, you know what? Mid 90s. And then uh, yesterday in the middle of Kansas, it hit 100 evidently, uh, according to my grandma. Good source of information. Um, <laughs> so we'll, uh, yeah. It's hot, is what you should know. It's hot in Kansas. Real hot. My room is very hot. Um, yeah. Pretty much put a shirt on right before the stream. Turn my fan on high. Because, uh, yeah, I was pretty much just sweating in here the entire day. At least the sun's down now. So it kind of cooled down. New map soon. I've noticed they released theirs around the same time as Call of the Wild. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Who's to say? This whole thing is just going around all over the place. Not exactly...
I'm kind of excited about though because I was thinking if we don't catch anything in that one spot then I'll cast over to the right where there's other fish that seem to be moving and the bobber has somehow moved itself over to this other spot that I was wanting to try anyway so yeah might work out perfectly we tried two different spots with one bobber now look at that dude moving it just moved five feet to the right. Can I make this up? There's two big fish at the top right now. It says anyway. Same for Western Missouri, yeah. I would assume so. <laughs> being being pretty much in the same area as me. <laughs> You've got Paku here on fruit? Well, maybe I should throw out some dang fruit then, huh? I am very curious why he is being... It's This can't be current, you think? Uh, I'm sick of waiting. Let's throw out a fruit. We'll see if we can get something on a fruit. I wouldn't be mad about getting a good Paku spot either. At least I don't have to worry about the uh, the fruit being chased by a predator or something like that. The fruit starts moving. Oh no. I'm being chased. Eastern Canada, there's so much fish here, which I think the players would love hey right on yeah would be cool i'm sure mm. um. well we're just not really catching much of anything at the moment might be time to move on move on to somewhere else there's so much activity on the water surface we've tried a bait fish we've tried fruit granted both on a match rod so maybe that's just not the way to go about it over in the very grassy corner over in the very grassy corner right here that a grassy corner try one last little drift here and then move on somewhere else with our remaining four minutes weather has been in the like 80s well psh. well I wish it was in the 80s here still <laughs> you're in Oklahoma okay Zachary you're not too far away either I was in Oklahoma a few weeks ago actually for a conference how was your day oh, my day was great Blake how was your day Try a medium spoon, you think? Is that what I should do? This is kind of doing a little bit of a shake right now. I feel. Maybe not. Maybe I just dreamt that up. You think we should try a medium spoon, though? I'm up for it. We got three minutes. Let's throw a dang medium spoon over there. Pretty sure I have one. Oh, I have a big medium spoon though. Not sure if it'll work. Guess if we catch something on it, it's gonna be a pretty good size. I love the six seventh ounce medium spoon with this rod and reel it just works perfectly you got perfect control with a six-aught hook it's a big hook 
and uh, and it's a perfect weight for this reel. This reel really doesn't have a lot of retrieve, and uh, it works really well. Nate's fishing is back right on, man. I'm looking at the radar, but no fish are popping up on it now. A lot of the bigger ones were at the bottom. Oh, now there's a big one at the top. What in the world? Should play more real fishing VR. If it wasn't such a pain to record, I definitely would. You know how easy it is to record this game? I pop it up on here, I bring up OBS, and I hit the record button. You know what it is, the VR? I have to get my VR headset. It's got to be plugged into something to keep it charged, otherwise it's going to run out of battery while I'm recording it. I got to have it then plugged into the computer. I then have to have my recording software, uh, which is then works with a receiving soft it's not a software it's just a receiving like uh, video input thing on the internet it's weird um, so I'm basically taking a screen which is following my VR headset and then I'm recording that screen and then <clears throat> I have to have the green screen with me in it in the corner it's just a lot. It's just a headache. It's a lot. But otherwise, fun game. And people seem to like the videos. <gasps> you. Pain in the neck. Scout and Trout, how's it going? Just trying to catch one last good fish. Can we manage it? That's the question. Okay, I threw the medium spoon a couple times. Let me go back to this. I'm gonna go with a shad on the back, though. One in 80,000 shiny Metagross. Metagross? Sounds fancy. Ooh, two big fish on top right now. Two big fish on top right now. Come on, big fish on top. Hey, boys, it's a freaking piranha. Trophy red belly. Well, I tell you what, that's all right. I thought this was pretty fun, everyone. I don't know about you, and it even shows up perfectly. How about that? Well, tell you what, really appreciate you all being here. If you haven't hit the like button, consider doing so at this point. After two hours of playing, I always really appreciate it. Probably going to bed, very true. <laughs> 19 species in the new map? Is that right? I haven't heard that yet. Um, so I, I don't know about that, but I will check into that, I suppose. Well, top nine, Jill. Excited for you. Anywho, yeah, uh, we got videos coming out tomorrow and on Friday. Uh, I got my brother graduating this weekend, so uh, if you see him somewhere, say hi, say congrats. Um, and otherwise, see you on Monday. Next Wednesday, not having a live stream. Just want to remind everyone. But uh, definitely still have it on Monday, and we'll just uh, hang out and go hunting, I suppose. Maybe we'll do a half and half, since it's uh, just going to be one day. So anyway, take care, everyone. Have a great night. Thanks, Matthew. You doing anything else? You bet. Going to bed. <laughs> uh, but anyway, take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember, everyone, this isn't going to pop up, but I'll fix it. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. 
come on, man. There we go. We're and one planet, one boom. family. Game on. <laughs>